Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're checking out Avia Corporation, uh, which is a minimalist sort of management style game where you're in charge of an airline and in charge of route setting. Uh, it's a little rough around the edges, but I thought I'd give it a little, uh, I thought I'd give it a little bash. And also, it's worth noting that if you have not subscribed, uh, then do indeed consider doing so, because according to the YouTube statistics, uh, only 18.7 of you are, uh, only 18.7% of you are actually subscribed, so subscribe for more strategy game videos. Uh, now, let's jump into things. As ever, I'll do my very best to explain what the heck is going on, and hopefully we'll have a little bit of fun along the way. So yeah, this game, as I say, a little rough around the edges. There's a few translation issues. However, it's an interesting management game, and I thought I would uh, I would chat to you about it today. So, um, right, gone through the tutorial. I know what I'm doing. This is our overview of the company. Uh, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be building up the level of our company, and we're going to be building or buying uh, and leasing and renting, whatever, more and more aircraft uh, to try and build up a fleet of aircraft that we can set to operate between destinations. Now, all of the different uh, little, little pips on the map, uh, they are all different airports. Now, the only difference is the continent. You can see the European airports are circular. The African uh, Triangular, uh, North American Square, Star for South America, uh, what is that, a he hexagonal for, uh, for for Asia, that sort of thing. Anyway, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I like that. So, um, at the moment, our company is very, very small. We only have 20 million in the bank. I mean, it sounds like a lot of money, but for, uh, but for airports and airport airline runnings it's it's not very much at all so uh, we are only able to we are only able to operate at, at airports that are at level zero right which means that we can take away take away all of these and we can basically only operate in all of the level zero airports at the moment and we can only run particularly small aircraft between the uh between the points so uh what we need to do and there's a couple of routes that i've already identified that i really 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 want to cover as uh, as initial routes uh the first route that i'm probably going to want to create uh between lithuania and latvia now the reason why uh the reason why i would like to do this is because if we if we take a little look at uh, at Riga International Airport, we can actually see uh, the list of popular destinations that are over here. Helsinki, uh, which is not a level zero airport, Helsinki is up in Finland over here. Uh, it is a level. It is a level two airport. Uh, it is a level two airport, so therefore we cannot fly uh, between it. Um, I do indeed believe at the moment, or at least we can't um, we can't base our we can't base our aircraft out of here. In fact, we might be able to fly between a level zero and a level two, but we might have to start in a level zero. Anyway, it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, between Latvia and Lithuania is is a good uh, is a good idea. So let's jump into the aircraft market and see what we've got going on. Specifically, we will get a level zero uh, aircraft. I think I probably want to try and get the biggest and the best aircraft possible. I do indeed believe that these uh, planes are randomly generated. There's a couple of different sort of aircraft manufacturers that are, you know, potatoes aircraft. I, I, I cannot claim to be related to that, but anyway, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, these are... These are, yeah, these are, these are all the aircraft manufacturers. Let's go for this... M. Gru M. Gruer, the, uh, an Embraer, I suppose, is probably a, a replication of that. Anyway, so after we've got it built, uh, we can come into the My Aircrafts section, and we can actually put this on a flight. Now, I, my company is too small for this airport. Increase the level of the company. Yeah, so we're not able to fly into Helsinki yet, but we can fly between uh, between Latvia and Lithuania, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So uh, we're going to be we're going to be doing we're going to be doing this route. Um, there's 112, 108 passengers, whatever it is, that are going to be flying between the two different places, and we've also got 24% of the population actually want to fly up to Latvia. So this is the ideal the ideal first um, first route that we can get set up here. Um, after we've done that, we can go into the My Routes section, otherwise labeled as My Directions, and we can actually see exactly what we have got going on. You can see on this specific route, we've only obviously got one aircraft at the moment. Total profit, that much, and we have made this much over the course of a week. Uh, the average aircraft occupancy is actually at 100 right now, which is pretty interesting indeed. Um, we can actually adjust the, um, the, the ticket price. We can adjust the ticket price. The average price is 
196. Uh, we're currently charging 218. Now there is a little bit of a graph here. Like there's a like we could charge 500 bucks for a for a ticket, but it obviously wouldn't um, wouldn't be profitable because nobody would want to, to travel on it. Uh, so we're not going to do that. Uh, but you know we're gonna leave it sort of as is for now um, and that is gonna be that is gonna be fine so there's a couple of other routes that I would like to get set up initially as well just on sort of level zero ones um, there are a couple of routes you know for example Belgrade um, Belgrade to Sofia Belgrade to Sofia is not really a route that is that is particularly that is particularly interesting we can filter there we go we can filter these we can see you know bulgaria to to belgrade there's like one maybe two people that want to travel here most people want to travel to other destinations and honestly this is such a small airport that it doesn't really matter i mean vienna doesn't even doesn't even register there is one person that wants to go all the way up to riga that's not happening so yeah i mean to be honest for europe that's pretty much it i mean belarus nothing else nothing else here um, we'll talk, by the way, more about, like, improving the specific stats of each and every airport as we go. But for now, I want to get a few more routes up, uh, up and running. So, um, Azerbaijan to Georgia. Yes, this is something that we can do. So, uh, yeah, we are now in a different region. But, yeah, we can see, look at that, 45 people. 45 people. That is definitely something that we can try and uh, get set up. So, let's go into aircraft markets. Let's go for... Uh, for something, for something that looks kind of good, 4.3 million for a used aircraft. I mean, that seems like a pretty steep, pretty steep amount. 2.5 million for a pretty, for an old aircraft. I mean, 2.6, 1.7. I mean, there's a bunch of different stats on the airport as well. Aircraft class is zero. Um, I think this is the speed. We've got the maximum distance. We've got the passenger capacity, the cost of the aircraft per hour at the maximum flight distance. We've got how many hours the aircraft will be serviced at the airport until the next departure. Uh, the speed can be uh, modified as well if we upgrade the airport, the cost of maintenance, the technical ability of an aircraft to fly transatlantic flights over long distances, which it can't do because it's absolutely tiddly, and how much time passes between the overhaul and the cost of the overhaul. Uh, right, I mean, on that basis, let's just buy this one, the BHC Twin. Sure, let's do it. And then let's jump back into here. And let's get this sort of set up between these two destinations over here. So that, I think, is going to make us money. I mean, if we have a little look here, you can see that the purchase of the aircraft um, gives us a massive, massive penalty. Uh, this is not a very good way of doing it, in my humble opinion, because this is a fixed cost. And that really shouldn't be sort of represented, um, you know, on the bottom line. Obviously, we're only like, you know, a, a week into the into the game which is just something that we need to bear in mind. Also, my last save was more than seven minutes ago. Thank you very much for that video game. That is that is good to see. Um, we can also measure distances between between airports. I'm not sure that particularly matters. Myanmar to anywhere interesting, really, that we can access. I mean, not really. We could do... What about Cambodia? No, Cambodia. Brunei. Brunei to Kuala Lumpur. Australia to Papua New Guinea. There's literally, literally no demand for that. That's cool. Uh, New Caledonia to Va Vanuatu. You see, this is such a small, it's such a small little, uh, little airport that it doesn't really matter. Passenger traffic per week total. See, look at that. That's tiny. This is tiny by any standard. Look at this. 1,100. How many people are in Latvia? I mean, 12,000 for goodness sake. I mean, it is so much larger. It really, really, really is huge in, in the grand scheme of things. Now, um, the interesting thing, the interesting thing about this, I believe, um, I think, yeah, what class of aircraft can this airport accept, can be improved? Yeah, so um, this is kind of an interesting, kind of an interesting thing to, to consider. And in fact, um, we're going to do two interesting things in quick succession. First of all, we're going to request support. You can request support for one route, choose the amount, the contract will depend on the amount of money. So uh, if we do this, we're going to get a huge amount of money for a specific route. I have no idea why this mechanic exists. I think it's just to sort of inject additional cash into the game, but like I'm delighted. We can actually we can actually request the maximum amount of support at both ends for the specific route and we can end up with like you know 
millions more in the bank account. However, uh, what's this? You've received a low rating of Regal Latvia due to the older airplane. Okay, look, you know what? The passengers, I don't, I don't care what they have to deal with. Uh, we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to leave that as is either way we should be making money we don't have to we don't have to pay back that loan we just have to we just have to keep it like up and running passenger ranking is pretty low at the moment but hopefully we're gonna be able to change that right let's go into aircraft uh aircraft market and let's actually see if we can try and buy a slightly larger plane i'm really really interested in buying a plane that can transport like more people What about this one? What about this one here? It's going to cost me 2 million. I mean, that sounds pretty freaking great. Pretty freaking great. It is a plane from 1991, but it's only going to cost me 2 million. So let's jump into here. Let's put this on a flight and let's just send you away. Beautiful. Um, and I would also like to go into my directions and have a little look at this aircraft and see what we're charging for ticket prices. Average price is 197, 190, 190. I mean, sure, that seems fine. Minimum payback price, sure. I mean, so in order to remain profitable, we need to have above 150. We can do that. We can absolutely do that. Um, I think this is going to be. I think this is going to be a profitable route. I think this is going to be a profitable route. I think this is going to be a profitable journey. I guess we'll we'll have to wait and see. There we go. Look at that. 50 out of 50. 50 out of 50. It's a tiny, 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 stupidly short flight. But it is, it is in fact working, which is, which is great. Uh, can I maybe like bump the price up? So we're gonna go VNO to to Rick's next. Yeah, fifty out of fifty. Let's 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 charge this at like two fifty. Charge this at two fifty. See if that's gonna make. See if that's gonna make a difference. I think we should still have most of the plane filled. It's going to be slightly larger than, or slightly higher than the average price. But yeah, we're going to make a lot more money per route. And obviously, we've got like a larger passenger, uh, larger passenger number. Average revenue on one flight. Yeah, I'm hopeful that this is going to be, uh, this is going to be quite a profitable route for us. That's the dream anyway. The turnaround time is taking an absolute age. Look at that. Okay, that was, that was only eight people on the flight. A little bit less than ideal there. Maybe let's drop this to like 230 or whatever. Anyway, we need to kind of get a bit granular, which uh, I don't love. It would be nice if we had the ability to just sort of like auto set the best price. That would be pretty sick. Look at that. Two, mm. Yeah, see, I mean, if we don't... If we don't, um, if we don't have the plane like fully occupied, then we are going to have, we are going to have a problem. Occupancy needs to be higher in order for us to, in order for us to hit that. But you know what? That's good news. That is very, very good news. Also, the other thing that I was going to say, we can, we can request support. Why on earth uh, can we do it? I don't know, but we can do it. We can request support literally at both end, at both ends of the route, and we can get the money, which is great. Happy days. Uh, it's just a zero, it's a zero level, uh, level flight though, so you know, that's it. Also, we've, we've got 26 million in the bank. How crazy is that? Okay, uh, so what else have we got going on? Uh, we've got a city ledger over here. That's fine. Uh, we've got the aircraft market. Again, we can we can, uh, we can can get more aircraft and we will get more aircraft. I really want to make sure that this route is actually profitable. Like this aircraft being profitable, very, very, very important to me. It's also sticking into four times speed because there is no point in leaving it at one times speed. Uh, four times speed is 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 good. Yeah, so as long as this number remains higher than this number, then we are fine. Uh, we need to increase the passenger ranking if it's all possible. And in order to proceed to the next level of company, um, which is very important, then we are going to we're going to need to increase the passenger traffic level. And we're also going to need to increase the company assets, which basically is the amount of money that we have in the bank, I believe, plus our aircraft. Um, I think. Anyway, that's fine. Now, um, can I... Aircraft level. See, I don't believe... I don't believe... I think this is showing my aircraft, which is pretty freaking useless. Um, but at the moment, we're only able to... We're only able to operate out of, like, again, these little piddly airports that are pretty small. Lesotho, anybody going anywhere here? No. I mean, can I select on cities? We are in... Africa, let's go here. Okay, you get the grant if all lines are filled. Increase traffic to 183 during the month. You'll get the grant 8 million. Uh, Angola is... 
where where on earth are we gonna go? Like, there's so little stuff. Like, we could invest in the airport. The airport will charge less for departures. The chance of passengers uh, losing luggage decreases. We can also improve the speed of the aircraft service at the uh, at the airport. Planes will fly more frequently. We can also improve the runway. Uh, but I mean, if we do that, there is gonna be like, there's gonna be there's gonna be no hope for us. There really isn't. Where are you going here? Zimbabwe, Angola. Angola between Antigua and our Barbuda. Cuba. Cuba to Miami. That's not happening. Cuba to Panama. Can we do Cuba to Panama? Nicaragua. Miami. There's so many. Bogota, Venezuela. Oh yeah, okay. We could do Caracas to Ecuador, right? We could do that. I mean it's it's hardly a it's hardly a huge airport, but it's it's fine enough. You can take class one aircraft, you can take class zero aircraft. However, if we improve the runway in Venezuela, then we can do a class one aircraft. How about we do that? Right, let's go. Maybe we should maybe we want to lease something, actually. Maybe we want to lease a one of these ones. How much is this gonna cost? 16,000 weekly payment. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. It means that we don't have to have a huge outlay. We are gonna improve the runway over here. There we go. That's going to increase the level of, uh, of of aircraft. We can also remember we can get support on either end, which is what I'm going to do. I don't want to return to the, the leaser, but that's fine. Okay, let's see if that let's see if that actually works. Let's see if that actually works. Got one person here. One person. What is the what is the ticket price? Average price is 780. I mean. To be fair, we should probably be charging a little bit more than if it's 780. Let's charge like 550 bucks either way. Is that going to allow for any singular passenger at all? Uh, basically, no. Basically, no. Not at all. Um, so this is a terrible, terrible, terrible business decision. Uh, and honestly, I'm going to cancel the flight. And you know what? I do want to. I do actually want to get. Uh, I do want to get a flight there. But let's maybe see if we can try and lease like a much smaller aircraft. Let's try one of these. Yeah, I mean, that is that is maybe much more suited to what we should be looking at. All right, put on a flight. Ah! Okay, well, you know what? The great news is, is that this aircraft, we can just return. That's the great thing about leasing aircraft. Right, what about, what about you? You can go slightly further. You can go even further still. Let's get, let's get you just in case. Ah, you need a level one company to lease that one. That's a pain in the backside. What about this one? 1,800 and something kilometers. Sure, let's do let's do that. Put on a flight. Beautiful. Very, very, very much within that range. That is excellent. Right. How is this looking? What are the ticket prices looking like? 822. 822. I mean, that's the. That's that's quite a that's quite a high that's quite a high amount. Let's go. 770 770 sure let's see if that actually works either way we shouldn't hopefully lose that much money uh, and let's also use the leased aircraft let's use the leased aircraft and stick it on ah we need to improve the runway over there could stick it on that route over there i don't particularly want to brazil botswana Bolivia, anything up here. I mean, this is the best, this is the best runway around. Although we did improve the Venezuela runway. Where does, where do the Venezuelan passengers want to go? Barbados? We could do a flight to Barbados. Also, are we making money on this route? We're not like a million miles away. Also, bear in mind that we can ask for support, and we probably should ask for support. Let's let's increase the price here. I know that maybe it's not going to be the most popular thing in the world to do. Average price is quite high. Can we maybe push it a little bit more? I mean, seems like a sort of supply and demand sort of situation, but there we go. Let's go into... It's just we're making... We're making such a huge loss but it's fine it's fine it's fine uh let's get a smaller aircraft let's get a let's get one of these sure and let's do let's do a little journey between there and there and let's see if that works what's the price what's the price per ticket 560 
I mean, you're telling me this is a good price video game. I don't know if that's necessarily the truth, but hey-ho. Uh, we can also request support. To be honest, this is probably going to be more than enough. <sighs> Didn't mean to spend $5 million improving the runway in Venezuela. That was a mistake. That was a big old mistake. I meant to request support. Um, that was a big old mistake. But again, look at this. The good old news is that we're able to make... We're able to make, like, all of that money, like, very, very easily. Passenger traffic is still not where it needs to be, but company assets are definitely getting there. We're making money. Like, on the whole, we're making money, which is great. Uh, planes on lease, we are not exactly making money there. We also need to... We need to find somewhere for... We need to find somewhere for this big aircraft to go. Azerbaijan to Istanbul. I mean, Istanbul is not... Not here. Lithuania to Latvia to Istanbul. Djibouti? Seems like a very long daft route. Sri Lanka to Doha or Dubai? No. Seychelles to Lithuania? I don't think that actually that's possible at the moment. I mean, 6,900. How many kilometers can this thing do? 2,600. So yeah, that's not possible. Again, like we're looking for we're looking for a decently large looking for a decently large city. I mean, the larger the city that we have, the better. I mean, Sofia's pretty good. 9,500 passengers. Uh increased traffic to 3,900 during the month. You get that grant. You get the grant if all the lines are filled. I'm increasing. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Or what about Lithuania? Can we fly from Lithuania anywhere? Where's where's some other popular destinations? Warsaw, Helsinki, Istanbul. What level is Warsaw? Warsaw is level one. Warsaw is level one. I would dearly love to be able to hit the next level of... Um, I would dearly love to be able to hit the next level so that we can get... So that we can get a journey between these two places. Yeah. How many people want to go to Riga? Anybody want to go to Riga? Poland, Lithuania. I feel like that is just a disaster waiting to happen if we if we set that up. Losing money on that route, losing money on that route, making money on these two routes. Yeah. There's not many great there's not many great one level routes, that's for sure. There really isn't. We just need to unlock. We just need to flip and unlock. Unlock something. Congo, anything here? No, no. They're all they're all such small little airports. Yeah, Venezuela. Any anything in Venezuela? <laughs> Venezuelan trip to Serbia. That's that's quite a that's quite the journey. Bolivia to Zimbabwe. I mean. Uruguay, Ecuador. Yeah, I'm just not loving. I'm not loving any of the South American. Toronto, Winnipeg to Toronto, Calgary, Vancouver. It's just too small. They're just too small. Um, what about just improving the infrastructure here? What about just improving the infrastructure actually at this airport? Uh, alternatively, I tell you what we could do. We could just literally stick you on there as well. Like, that is definitely something that we could do. Now, there's a little snowflake over here, which means that the entire area is going to shut down temporarily. Not necessarily the end of the world, but that's fine. There's the court. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, bank loans. We can take out a little bridging loan if that's what we want to do. Is it something that I particularly want to do? No. No, it's not. Also, our loans are kind of gated by the fact that we are such a low company level. Uh, look, we're continuing to make we're continuing to make money. It's not a hugely large amount, but we have actually made more money than we've lost. So we've made back we've made back all of that money that we were paying for. Uh, we're made, making back all that money that we were paying for aircraft uh, aircraft purchases, which is kind of nice. Very very good. Very very happy with that. Maybe another aircraft or two over here. Let's go and get. Aircraft market. I really like the idea of leasing. I really, really do. Very, very much interested in leasing. 
Not quite sure where the sort of logic is on the price front, but hey ho. Okay, this is looking this is looking good. This is looking good. This is looking good. Now, we can invest in the airport. Do we want to invest in the airports? I feel like maybe we want to invest in and in, in, in Vilnius. Is it Vilnius? Is that how you say it? Let's let's try and do that. I mean invest in the airport. Sure. Still have loads of passengers that can that can come here. Yeah, the landing of the aircraft has now been reduced in price. We can improve the departures as well, improve the speed of service at the aircraft as well, uh, which is good. I think that's going to increase the... I think that's going to increase the passenger numbers as well, and that would allow me to get, uh, to get grant monies, which would be pretty freaking sick. So quicker turnaround, less, less price per passenger. Uh, yeah, Definitely the amount of money has narrowed that we were making, but that's okay. I mean, that's kind of to be anticipated. If we're only leasing aircraft as well going forward, then that's going to mean further reduction in potential profits, but that's okay. You know what? Maybe I'll lease another aircraft. Aircraft market leasing. Level one. Let's get a big one. Oh, we can't, le can't, we can't lease one. We can, we can buy one, though. We can buy a level one aircraft. This one can do 3,600 or 3,200 kilometers. Looks very swanky. For 4 million, let's do it. Hardly seems worth it to, to do the tiny little short distance that we're going to get it on. But we'll do it there. Okay. Right. Profitability is dropping. Bit unfortunate. The issue is our our ticket prices i think ticket prices you know are set per flight maybe they're not maybe they're as a whole yeah no they're definitely per flight which i think is a really really bad idea uh because yeah that sucks um in my humble opinion uh they should definitely be they should definitely be uh be a little bit more a little bit more transparent this is because of the lease the price is is just like not working out there we go bump that up to 190 bump that up to 190 or whatever yeah but this passenger number 32 yeah okay that's fine i mean it's not it's not great i feel like that's not fantastic but kind of is what it is company assets are looking good passenger traffic is up um owned aircraft we're all making money leased aircraft we're not making money are we are we even making money down here there is absolutely no way average revenue of one flight we are literally losing money hand over fist what about this one over here we're also losing money hand over fist um is there any point in throwing money into into venezuela i feel like the answer to that is no i feel like the answer to that is no Ecuador on the older aircraft, yeah, it's 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 an expensive. That's an expensive failure, uh, to be honest. But that's okay. Yeah, planes on lease, losing a lot of money. But at the same time, it, I, I feel like that's okay because we got we got three million out of it, right? Right. Have I taken have I taken a support loan pretty much everywhere that I can? Yeah, I really should try and get some more routes up and running. Let's see if I can try and maybe Sudan. Jeddah, Dubai, Djibouti to Bolivia, Ecuador. I mean, is there anything local? Nigeria. What's the difference there? Djibouti to Nigeria. 3,600 kilometers. That's a bleeding long way away. Madagascar, Botswana, Nigeria. You know what? Cote d'Ivoire to Nigeria. Let's Let's do that. Let's do that. And then we're going to be able to get a support loan at either end, which uh, I am down for. I'm absolutely down for it. We're going to have to use level zero aircraft. Uh, purchase it. You know what? Let's let's lease it. Let's lease it. Sure. Let's lease it. Let's do it. Put on a flight. Beautiful. And then, again, I don't know how this mechanic works, but... I'm going to request as much flipping support as I possibly can. There we go. And let's see if that ends up working out. Right, so company assets are actually looking like pretty darn good. We're at 35 million and climbing. Profit is in a really, really nice place. 
Um, my least planes, one of them is making money. I presume it's the one on the... It's the one on this route. This is the only route that is actually profitable, really. I mean, that one too, I guess. But, like, this is the this is the big one up here. What's new in the aircraft market? Anything else? Nah, nothing really. Problems. There's a lot of people complaining about the quality of the aircraft that we have. To be honest, that's kind of to be anticipated. I mean, look, it just is what it is. Nigeria, Congo, Congo to Central African Republic. We can do it. We can do a route over there. I don't know if this, I don't know if this route is actually going to make any money, but it got me, it got me some, uh, some support grants, which is great. Uh, again, I'm just going to choose the smallest, smallest aircraft that we possibly can. Let's, uh, we can't get that one. What about this one? Yeah, at least that one. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Ticket prices here. I mean... There is, like, slight demand for it. Can I just, like, crack the price up to, like, that? Maybe if there's, like, one person... Maybe if there's one person that is willing to pay that amount of money, then at least I'll make... At least I'll make something. But to be honest, I doubt it. Even at the aircraft occupancy rate of... 15% or 14%. I just I just don't think that's going to be the case. Yeah, I feel like there needs to be there needs to be some sort of a mechanic to automatically adduce uh to automatically um you know like set ticket prices cuz that would be super handy. Right. Okay, we're going to request support again because it's just it's literally free money and I like it. Uh that makes my company assets almost to the level that we need. I think that in fact is the level that we need. Um, passenger traffic, on the other hand, is slightly more nebulous, and how on earth we're going to be able to increase that at a similar sort of pace, um, I don't know. I don't know. That is, that is truly a challenge. Um, yeah, I mean, look, this is a, it's a, it's a fairly basic game. It's a fairly basic game. I feel like we didn't really explore too much. There's also, like, challenges as well. Connect all the cities on the, I think that's the North American continent for passengers to take from city to city. Yep. Cool, that's fine. Um, there's the court. I don't know what that does. That is an interesting sort of thing. Um, there's a, a bank sort of balance area. That's definitely something to do. There's also like a whole bunch of mechanics with regards to improving the airports, improving the runway, where we can get better aircraft to fly in. Uh, you know, big sort of transatlantic flights as well. I mean, there's a lot of airports. There's like 140 of the things. Uh, I would really, really, really love to do like, you know, you know, transfer uh, transfer people across the Atlantic. That would be pretty freaking cool. I would like that. I mean, there's 200 passengers, 200,000 passengers, uh, leaving from Heathrow, uh, which I am very, very interested in. I mean, look, we're making money. We're making money. We're absolutely making money. It's not like a ton of money, uh, because we are leasing, you know, aircraft for the, for the most part, but like we're slowly, but surely we're slowly, but surely increasing our, uh, our income which is quite a nice little place to be. Uh, but yeah, I mean, check it out. Avia Corporation, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think it's a game that's going to set the world on fire. There's a few translation issues, but it's got a little bit of heart, uh, and I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. I'm excited to see where it goes. Uh, yeah, this is one to one to watch if you're interested in, um, in you know, aircraft management style games. Keep an eye on it. Uh, but for now and for me, thank you ever so much for watching. Check out the Patreon if you're interested in helping make videos that is possible. I'll see you next time. Bye.